Hey guys, it's me, John Avenger, once again, and welcome to another video. This is another review, but I want to do a nice tribute to a good guy on YouTube that just passed away. I had no idea. I was watching uh, Pirates at World End, and then when the movie was over, I found out that he passed away, and I'm like, at 35, and I'm like, this is crushing. It's really crushing, because I loved his videos when he was on here. He made me laugh. There were times that I got upset at him, but it wasn't anything personal, just, you know, personal taste. And uh, he entertained us for a lot of years on YouTube, and I'm not going to forget him. Uh, rest in peace, Emer. I'm going to give you a moment of silence because you deserve it. I miss you, man. I had no idea that this this you know was going to be your last year. I miss you a lot, like crazy. Uh, it's a shame that you know life has to be so short for some people, and you know it, maybe if he had lost all that weight, he would have been still been here. But you know I'm going to lose weight, so I don't end up like him. But you know, rest in peace, uh, Emer Prevost. Helsing 920. But, you know, the show must go on. Life goes on for us on YouTube. We got to keep going forward. I don't want to quit YouTube because, you know, there's been plenty of deaths in my life in, in the last uh, three decades. And, you don't, you know, to, to, to get over it, you have to keep, just keep going and l let the memory live on. So rest in peace, Emer. I miss you. I loved your videos. You were a great guy. I, mi I wish that you had like more, more decades to of entertaining videos to come. But what you left us, we won't forget. And I promise you, I promise you that, sir. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna finish what you started. Like Kylo Ren said, I'm gonna finish what you started, sir. And I'm gonna review a movie, another movie that had an actor that we lost, but it's not in poor taste. I'm just wanted to review this uh, for movies with numbers in the title part, duh. And that is Furious 7. This was the last Furious film that Paul Walker did. I loved, I really enjoyed this movie. It has flaws, but I can forgive it more because, you know, what Paul did, what he gave us will never be forgotten. The film has really good action sequences. It's long, but that's because of some of the things they added. But all the characters are in the movie, so all the loose uh, ends tie up, all the loose ends are tied up like a bow, and it ended the franchise just fine. I don't think we needed an eighth film because it just felt forced, like a money grab. But anyway, it's a very entertaining film. You know, they, they go all around the world or whatever. Again, just to, you know, uh, Hobbs is in prison and, and, you know, he breaks out in the second half of the film. Uh, Jason Statham is in the movie. He's a great villain. I think he's way better than Charlize Theron because I like him better. Um, Vin Diesel's fight with Jason Statham is pretty cool. The last battle was way more epic than Pirates 3. I can say that easily because, you know, uh, it, it felt like it ended you know it was like you know and when paul and vin diesel look at each other for the last time and then they said this was for paul i was like i, I wanted to cry because it was so emotional the film does have problems though like i said this is not a perfect sequel i think six was way better because you know it felt more complete and more focused one the movie has way too many characters two you know, there's scenes that easily could have been cut out. Like, Ronda Rousey fighting Michelle Rodriguez, you didn't need that. The scene where they're, like, driving through freaking buildings, that's too cartoonish. You didn't need that. The ending of the movie, you know, besides uh, the thing for Paul, and, you know, it's a very good send-off for him. There's a lot of things like, oh, uh, Letty remembers Vin Diesel at the end. Yeah, it comes out of nowhere, never explained. Screw that subplot. Um, also, like I said, I don't care about the female cast. Never did. Gal Gadot was better off in, in the sixth one, and then they kill her off. She just disappears in six and never again. But, hey, was the movie good? Yes. It was well shot. It has good action. The actors are trying for the most part. Uh, it's not as long as Pirates 3, which I can say easily, because it's like two hours and ten minutes around there. Long, but manageable. But past two and a half hours, I start to feel it, and I, you know my knees start to hurt. But Furious 7, for what it was, even though it's not better than Furious 6 and it's not better than than uh, Fast 5, I still think it's it's a good movie on its own. Like, if it was not a Fast and the Furious movie, I would still like it because Paul Walker, he gave us everything he had. The scenes where they, they dropped the, 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 the things, these all these movies have been stupid since the first one, let's face it. They're not realistic. They have crazy action sequences that defy the laws of gravity and, and, and physics. It's fine. It's a movie. I can accept that. And, you know, when you know his acting was great. And I know they use stand-ins. You don't have to tell me that in the comment section. And his scene with Tony Jaa's fight scene that there were his brother stood, stood in for him. I get it. But 
the scenes that he did give us, he gave us everything he had. And rest in peace, Paul Walker, I miss you. That's why I say to hell with Fate of the Furious, because it doesn't have you, and you missing is a big part of why I don't I don't want to see that movie. And, you know, it's just, it, I cared about him. I didn't care about Jordana Brewster. The baby, yeah, I care about a baby, it's fine. But, but Walker was the reason why I watched these films, him and Vin Diesel. And when he was missing... I know the third one didn't have him, but at least it did its own thing. It was a prequel, so I can accept that. But, you know, it worked because of him. And he was the, the guy, he was the glue that held this franchise together. Without him, it would have flopped. It would have been a failure past part four. But thanks for thanks a lot, Paul Walker, for giving us everything you had. You gave us so many good movies. You gave us, so there were some bad ones, Meet the Deedles, whatever. But you never failed to give a good performance. You always trudge through and that's why you'll always be remembered for this and for many other films in the past but like i said rest in peace paul you you were great in this movie i'm not going to take nothing away from you and fate don't care about it because the action might be good but without paul it just feels like a missing puzzle piece in my opinion don't, don't hang me for that but anyway furious 7 it's a good movie i saw this in the college in my college two years ago i was emotional i was really invested and even though there were some scenes that could have been cut out, it is a solid film. And for Paul, the send-off paid off immensely. It made a billion dollars. I think it's better than Rogue One. It was not. It didn't crush me inside like The Force Awakens did. And uh, also, it didn't have as much fan service. So, and not as much CGI. There was some CG, but not too much. And the film paid off. I wish it was the last one. You didn't need eight. Eight is just an unnecessary sequel that's forced in there to make money. Just like episode eight, nine, ten, twenty-five, Young Han, all of that. Disney Wars, no, we don't need that. When we don't need it, we don't want it. It flops. This movie, we did need because it was good and it was the first origin story for Wonder Woman. But with this movie, it should have ended it. To me, this is where it ends. All roads lead to an end and this is it. So there, that's my uh, nice tribute to Emer. Rest in peace, man. Wherever you are, I know you're not suffering anymore. And I miss you. And also, this movie, I want to get it on Blu-ray one day because I think it deserves my a second viewing because Paul was worth it. And Vin Diesel, Tyrese Gibson, The Rock, Jason Statham, even Kurt Russell. And he was great in Guardians too. I don't want to hear anything about it. He was great. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I know this was kind of a dour video, but I wanted to just respect some two people that have passed away in this decade. Paul Walker and Ema Prevost. Rest in peace, both of you. You're in you're in a better place now. You're no longer on this world of indifference. See you guys later in the next video.